and welcome back to Lesson 2, Part 2 of the Let's Program Hangman series. Hopefully you already watched Part 1. You've gotten two functions that can allow your user to enter in some letters. In Part 2 of this video, we're going to take those guesses and we're going to check them against words that are provided to our program. So let's go ahead and get started with Lesson 2, Part 2 of Let's Program Hangman. Now that we have this concept down, let's go ahead and just put in a word. And we're not going to use a random word. We're just going to use a, uh, a word that we hard code in here. So we're going to say that the word equals piano. So piano will be our word. And so that's got a P, I, A, N, and O, and nothing else. Using what we have here, let's go ahead and have our program respond whether or not the letter the user guessed is in the word that we've selected here. I'm going to accomplish this by writing a third function here in my program. and I'm going to call this one check word. In order to check to see if the letter is in the word, I, my function is going to need to know what letter I guessed. So again, I'm going to use letter as a parameter. Without that, I wouldn't know what letter the user has guessed. And then I wouldn't be able to pass that into this function to see if it's in a given word. So this function will check to see if the user's letter is in a given word. And I can check this really easily with an if statement again. If the letter the user has guessed is in the word that we've selected, we're going to print you have guessed correctly. And if it's not in the word, then we're going to print you have guessed incorrectly. This little function right here gives us the ability to check and see if a letter the user has guessed is in a word that we've provided our program. Now, after we check a letter, I'm going to check the word for that letter as well. So we've called that function as well. And let's, this is a good place to test it and see if we've created any errors or bugs in our program. So I know the word is piano. So let's go ahead and add an L. I know the word, the letter L is not in piano, so when I enter L, it tells me I've guessed the letter L and that I've guessed incorrectly. So far, so good. Let's enter an L again. It tells me that I've already guessed that letter and it lets me know that L was not a correct guess. Now let's go ahead and enter a P. I know that P is in piano and it tells me that I've guessed the letter P and that I have guessed correctly. So this program is identifying the letter that's in the word. We can keep testing this by doing I, which is correct, A, which is correct, and let's try a W, which is incorrect. So this program is able to check and see if the letter we've guessed is in a word that we've given the program. We can further test this program by changing the word. So we'll change piano to automobile. That's got a little bit more words for us to check with and run this program again. This time we should be checking for automobile. So let's enter a P. Last time that reported that P was a correct guess, but now that P is not an automobile, our program is letting us know that that's an incorrect guess. But if I enter an A, uh, an A right there, it knows that there is an A in automobile. If I check for an M, it knows that there's an M in automobile. So this little program right here can take a word and allow the user to guess a single letter and then tell us not only if that letter is in a word, but also keep track of all the letters that our user has guessed since the program was first run. So that's the concept of how checking a letter will work when we get around to putting this into our Hangman game. But let's go ahead and take a look at a challenge program to see if you can do this on your own. Okay, so your challenge program for lesson number two uh, really takes what we've already done and expands on it. The first thing that you're going to need to do is randomly select a word. Um, you can see that I have printed out what that word is, and you can do that in your program as well to make sure it's working. So in this case, we're looking for the word parking. 
You're going to prompt the user to enter a letter, but this time you're going to keep track in a couple of list variables. You're going to have a list variable that keeps track of correct guesses, and also one that keeps track of incorrect guesses. That way, when we report to the user their guesses, we can let them know which words have been correct and which ones have been incorrect. If the letter's already been guessed, you need to inform the user that le that letter has already been guessed, but you don't report to them whether it's correct or incorrect anymore. So let me show you what I... I'm talking about here. So let's enter the letter P because P is in parking. It tells us that you've already guessed the letter P, that you have guessed the letter P and that it is correct. And we continue. And you can see that it is reporting P in the correct letters tile. If I hit P again, it tells me that I've already guessed that letter, but it does not let me know whether or not we've guessed correctly or incorrectly because that information's already been given to our user. If I guess the letter W, which is not in parking, it's going to tell me that I've guessed the letter W, but that was incorrect, and it's going to put this in the W or in the incorrect letter uh, row. And if I guess again, it will just tell me that I've already guessed that letter, but it won't report whether it was incorrect or correct because it's done that as well. When I run the program again, I should get a different word because I've added that random letter generator. This time I got the word television. So let's enter a V, that is correct, an I, that is correct, an N is correct, and of course like an L, I guess there's an L in television, um, an M is incorrect, an X is incorrect. So my program is keeping track of correct and incorrect letters, and on duplicate letters, it's no longer taking the time to correct to let me know whether or not the guess is correct or incorrect. So that's your challenge program right there. A random word generator, two list variables, correct and incorrect, a letter informing the user whether their guess is correct or incorrect, but also the function doesn't run if the user has already guessed a letter and it's already been reported to them whether that guess was correct or incorrect. And that's going to wrap up Lesson 2 in the Let's Program Hangman series. Hopefully you learned a little bit about how to use list variables to your advantage, how to keep track of user guesses. These are all going to be really important skills when we put them all together and actually program Hangman. If you're trying the challenge program and you run into any problems, feel free to leave those comments or questions below, and I will answer them as best I can. As always, thank you so much for your support of the Python tutorial series and this channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.